Yo, what is up, Y Squad? Turning back here with another 801 Live vlog for you guys. Today, we get to take the beautiful C8 Corvette out once again. Today, we are going to a uh, car meet, actually. And I figured it'd be good to just to kind of show what kind of cars show up to the Utah car scene. I know a lot of you guys that are viewing my videos might be from Utah since probably a lot of my friends and family watch. But also, if you're not from Utah, this is kind of what shows up. Anyways, also on top of that, what I'd like to talk about in this video is is the C8 Corvette okay to daily drive? Is that something that's gonna be practical? Or, you know, just overall, is it okay to daily drive a Corvette? Or can you daily drive a Corvette if you are wanting to? Now, what I would also like to do is I'd like to just say thank you to every single one of you guys that are out there watching my video, hitting the thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button, and hitting the, I mean, leaving me a comment as well. It's been, I've been getting the most interaction I think I've got since I started my channel two years ago, and we've come a long way. If you've been here a while, you've seen we got the Corvette now. But something that's awesome, I just like to say, the last couple videos, seriously, they've been getting thousands of views. Like the one I posted last Saturday is already at like 1.5 thousand views. I have a couple that are at 5,000. I have one that's at 7,000. A couple that are two or 3,000. Seriously, I just want to say I cannot thank you guys enough, and I'm happy you guys are joining me on this journey to hopefully see if we can make this go somewhere someday, and I really appreciate every single one of you. But without further ado, let's get a cold start on the C8 Corvette. Now, how can you not love the sound of that beautiful V8 in the new C8 Corvette? Just sounds absolutely amazing. I mean, I've got the Z51 uh, exhaust on it, the performance exhaust, but nonetheless, it just sounds, I think it sounds great for what it is, especially coming that way stock when I purchased the vehicle. Uh, but let's get on the road and let's get into this. Okay, so we are at 52 miles left. We better go fill this up. That got a little too low. Let's go fill it up and let's get into this. Can you really daily drive the C8 Corvette? Okay, so, as you guys know, if you're familiar with the C8 Corvette, then you know the gas mileage that it gets. It gets 15 miles to the gallon, I think, in the city, and 27 on the freeway slash highway. So, I mean, that being said, I mean, 15 miles to the gallon, really, ideally, as far as gas mileage, is not going to be ideal for daily driving, unless, especially with the gas the way it is right now, it is going to cost a fortune to try and daily drive a Corvette, especially, I mean, you're gonna be probably driving a lot of city, probably some freeway, but 50 miles to the gallon, that's really not that good. Um, so overall, as far as the gas mileage goes, personally, I would say probably not a good daily driver, uh, just for that simple fact. Okay, so you probably also know that obviously the C8 Corvette has the ability to go from four cylinders up to eight cylinders. Uh, if you drive it like I do, and you don't want to risk, I know that there's actually some problems that could happen with that if you really want to stick with going with the four-cylinder um, uh, ability that it has. I like to stick with the V8, just it causes less problems. And overall, just things are going to go a lot smoother and keep the car running the way it should be. So you can put that in Z mode or track mode, and either way, it's going to keep it in that V8. That's why I'm going with the gas mileage part, because I know you can get better, obviously, if you're willing to drive it with the V4. But I like to go V8, and so gas mileage not the best now if you're planning to drive this more than an average use like not necessarily daily driving but just more than the average that a corvette probably gets driven let alone the new one um you got to consider to factor in reliability if you're going to drive this a ton what's the reliability on this vehicle uh i mean it's mixed there's people out there that have problems within their first 500 miles there's people that have gone 20,000 miles with no problems uh, I've got just over 8,000 now. I got that service that you guys saw in one of the previous videos. And I've mine's been an absolute tank. It's been bulletproof. I've had no problems at all. Uh, just the oil change. But seriously, like tires are still going strong. Um, I've had no problems. I've had to literally fix nothing. No engine lights, nothing has popped up. So honestly, I think maybe I've got one of the good batches or, or maybe I've been lucky. And also I think it comes down to care, how you treat the vehicle, how you drive the vehicle. Um, but as far as reliability goes, if you really go off of reviews, they are kind of mixed. But overall, I think the Corvette is going to be uh, a very reliable vehicle for uh, what you're getting. Now, something else you definitely got to factor in there. If you're going to be spending a lot of hours, a lot of time in a car, you're going to be driving a lot. 
how comfortable really is it? Now let's open up in here. Now I'm gonna say this, for, just from my experience, I am about 6'1", uh, and I fit in here perfect. Like there's lots of room, the seats go deep, there's enough headroom in here. Like honestly, I think it's one of the most comfortable cars I've actually had and this sounds maybe sounds kind of crazy, but I'm serious. I really think that um, the comfortability of this car fits perfect. I mean, things can be different. And take in mind, I've only got the 1LT, so you can't adjust the, um, the, I don't know if they're called the wings of the seat, but just like the outsides. Uh, I can't adjust those because I have the 1LT, but even for me, I still fit in there perfectly. Okay, so now we've got that car meet, like I was telling you at the start of the video, to go to. Let's go check it out. Let's see what they have there. And then I'll give you just kind of my overall opinion on yes or no. Is it worth driving more than the average use? Or should this, or should you steer away from that? I know, I, I already know what a lot of you are going to say. And maybe that's going to be what I say as well. Regardless, that's what I'm going to say. But let's get to the car meet and we will go from there. Okay, everybody, this car meet is absolutely crazy. Check this out. Oh wait, <laughs> it's just me. Nobody showed up to this car meet that was supposed to happen. It's all dark outside. And I'm, I'm totally joking, totally joking. Anyway, I went to the car meet and it was actually a good turnout. I took a little tiny clips. It just didn't really feel like the right place to really try and uh, record. There was a lot of people there all talking. I just would have been in the way, maybe been a little bit annoying. So I decided not to really vlog like I normally would like to. But I have some footage I'll just throw in here just so you guys can see what was there. Again, I apologize. It's really not the best, but at least there was some stuff. And I'll show you kind of the few clips I did grab. And yeah. <laughs> We are back here at it again. So I know this is a completely different outfit, different hat, everything I know is completely different. I'm not even like walking around at a car show or nothing, but I had some crazy stuff happen. I actually got a new camera. Uh, the last one I had just got old and it just wasn't working very well. And so it was really just time for an upgrade. Like it was, I just really needed one. And I think it's gonna turn out better, a lot better quality for you guys. And I'm really excited actually to get the use out of it. But anyway, that's without the point. Uh, to just kind of cap off what I recorded earlier on my last camera is just, you know, overall, should you daily drive the C8 Corvette or can you daily drive a C8 Corvette? I think truly what it comes down to is if it works for you. Like for example, are you gonna, um, if you're daily driving it, do you ever need to carry more than just yourself and maybe one other person? If you need to carry more than two people on a consistent basis, it's not a good daily driver for you. Do you need to bring a lot of stuff with you? I don't know if, you, depending on what you do for your job or just overall what you're doing most of your time, do you need more space? Do you need a lot of room and enough stuff in your car to be able to store certain things or carry things or pull a trailer? No, obviously uh, it's not gonna work out. So overall, there's really no way to really say, can you daily drive a C8 Corvette? Because can you? Absolutely you can. Can you also? Probably not. Absolutely, that's also a very high possibility. For me, it just doesn't work out. I, I'm not really willing to wanna put on those miles. I'm not wanting to kind of get all the wear and tear that can happen through that. Like I know that you can, there's very, um, productive ways to counteract some of those things but overall i'm just not really willing to drive it that many miles i'm not really willing to use it as much as a daily driver would be used you know like i would i, have, I would have no use for that i like to take it out try and keep it super super nice the best condition that i can keep it in and you know go have fun on the weekends take the wife out to dinner and you know overall i'm not really looking to use this as a daily driver so for me personally I'm going to give you a no. I'm going to say absolutely not. Do not daily drive the C8 Corvette. However, it, that, that's just for my situation. If your situation fits it and you've got the ability to do it, why not? I actually seen a, I'm part of a couple Corvette groups and I have a, seen a C8 that has over 67,000 miles on it. And I want to actually ask this guy how many problems or what he's had happen to the car because that is a lot of miles to go through in such a short amount of time and I know people are kind of skeptical 
of the car they i mean there's been transmission issues and people have just kind of been wary of i've, I've seen people not taking their allocation even just because they're kind of skeptical of it if that's your situation but overall you know i wouldn't daily drive it if you want to go for it i think i'm good but uh it is definitely a possibility if you want to but just like that i think with everything in there and i know this is kind of just cramming it all into one at the very end i'm gonna have some better content for you guys next saturday now that i've got the better camera everything is running smooth again i'm gonna get back on it saturdays 8 a.m utah time so that is 10 a.m eastern time but just like that this video is over and we're out